So I went to uh, Microsoft's Build Conference today. Mm-hmm. Mitch, I literally don't know what that is. Uh, I don't either. That's because you're not a developer. And if you're a developer of like, you don't know me. Of apps, are you are you an app developer? Yes. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, then there I was some good Francisco. news. Some good news. Uh, yeah. Good news out of the Build Conference today. You can now use your Xbox One as a dev kit to build some apps. Cortana so you don't is coming need to, to get a dev kit Xbox. No, right. You can so use, you just use huh. your machine and you That's turn it into cool. dev mode. It is cool. Uh, it's totally meaningless to us because we have no idea how to do anything with that. But how to do dev apps. Yeah, and what it's this is less important for games. And I talked to Phil Spencer about this a little bit, but it's less crucial to games. Like ID is still a thing for devs who want to make games for mm-hmm. Xbox. This is more for people who are like. Oh, uh, I want to ask my Xbox because Cortana is coming. So now you're getting like much more capable voice command stuff. Mm-hmm. So you say, "Hey, Cortana, what's the traffic like today?" And she'll check the apps that you have. And like via Microsoft's like insane robot technology, she will be able to communicate with other bots of various companies using like your Xbox or Skype or whatever to communicate with third-party robots to get you answers to questions. That's to incredible. Run your life. Like, the demo we saw was crazy. Um, there's not a ton of stuff for Xbox yet, but Cortana basically, like, in, in a Skype demo on this person's phone, she was like, oh, I'm going to Dublin. And there was a meeting request that was like, I'm going to this thing in Dublin. And Cortana was like, oh, you're going to Dublin on these days. Would you like a hotel on these days? Here's where you stayed last time. Here's the people that live there that you know. And it's like, what? That's incredible. <laughs> That's This is very scary. And I using mean, all that, she was able to be like, yes, I'd like to book that. Yes, I want this room. Yes, I want these things. I, I misconnect so much. So when I left Australia, I left my Xbox One behind and my Connect behind, and I was like, it's fine. My parents use them as a media player. They were like, the idea of me taking my Xbox One was mortifying to them. So they're like, but how would we watch anything? Mm-hmm. But it's also that uh, it was really heavy. That thing's a, a brick. So. Yeah. so I didn't bring it over with me. And then when I got here, I decided to get a new Xbox, but didn't get it with Connect, just because I was like, eh, whatever. You know, I don't think I'd miss it that much. Yeah. And I miss it every single day. Yeah, like every Skype single day. Skype with Connect is kind of awesome. For uh, I mean, voice commands or gesture commands? My voice commands. I never use the gestures. Yeah. But even for things like go to achievements, like finding the achievements on the Xbox One dashboard is actually kind of complicated or right now. Or taking a screenshot it snaps or recording everything. that. And I'm like, I want to see the actual achievements. Yeah. I want to see my progress. Like, just stop snapping stuff, which is, it's a lot more commands you have to put in to be able to find that portion of the menu. You have to go to your profile and then to achievements. Whereas if you like go to achievements, yeah. it just pops up. Like I really miss Connect all the time. And then the idea of Connect being able to do stuff just outside of video game uses and me launching or pausing yeah, Netflix well, that's is yeah. kind of what awesome com- that's to me. That's what Cortana is, is like an extension of that. Like right. the, the idea, A the smarter way it, extension of Yeah, because the way it works now is you say Xbox, comma, do something, and it, it hears that string and it activates the trigger and it does the thing. Yeah. Now with Cortana, like Cortana is an AI like it's listening and it's it's aware of other stuff going on on your accounts and your machines and your inbox and it can pull from all these places to give you information wherever you want it uh, yeah so that's what build is build is like the future of Microsoft technology sure that's really cool. with the people making it I find it really interesting that connect is pretty much no longer a thing for like actual video game mechanics but it is now I mean it was really good with rise and pretty much nothing else yeah for Xbox One, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, but now it's becoming, it is sort of bridging the gap and turning your Xbox into a very smart PC. I mean, it makes yeah. me wonder with this, like on the comment of, I, because Connect was so easy, I now miss it in a way that I wouldn't have if I'd never had Connect. Like, will that end up happening if I want to book a flight or if I want to see traffic? Will I end up being like, oh, I have to type this yeah, in? Yeah, like when you get a text from Cortana, yeah. being like, hey, do you want me to book like this? Like when I oh, don't, cool. if I yes, don't have done. access to a Cortana, even if it's on my Xbox or on my phone, like, is that going to get to a point where it's tedious and annoying, even for the most simple things, because we're used to voice commands? It's also getting Probably. treacherously close to the film Her in basically every way. Also, yeah. they named it Cortana, which is about an AI that becomes rampant and infected. Like, I, like it's sort of like yeah. naming your airline Icarus, and you're like, that's not good. <laughs> no, that I is mean, not good. I mean, Cortana has to die eventually. But she did. Exactly. And then they so the point it. is that the idea is that the AI deteriorates. So it's like, sure, the Cortana that we have now is Gen 1 Cortana. So maybe, you know, in 10 years, we'll have a different Cortana. No, exactly. And that's exactly. So here's, here's. The AI how, will also get outdated. She's not going to die here's how Halo 6 like, is Halo go. Cortana. Here's did. the story of Halo 6 Cortana's evil. Oh no, we have to stop her. But Master Chief can't kill her. So they just take her AI and they're like, oh, what if we just hack all the good stuff out and leave a, the bad one to die? That's his accent. 
Uh, oh, is that Master they, Chief? Yeah, that's what What if like. we just hack all the bad stuff? You take off the helmet, <laughs> and he gets rid of that gruff man. Hey, oh, has anybody it's thought a, about what we do with the robot? It's a voice, voice modulator. <laughs> like Batman. Oh, this all makes because, sense. Because uh, when they recruited him, he the actually has a really like, just really thick southern accent. Maybe like, this, with, this cannot be the man representing humanity. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, where's the robots? <laughs> I don't it know also what makes him is. more eloquent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, God, what is that? Oh, yeah. The, and then Cortana will live on in this new Cortana 2.0. And then it'll do this. Okay, but really, I'm going to take this pitch to our Snapchat team, and we're going to make it cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. What this is the legacy I leave you, that. IGN. That's incredible. <laughs> what characters sound like without their helmets on? That's really good. Uh, this is, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, that's it's great. great. Howdy, y'all. I'm going to finish this fight. <laughs> I'm going to finish this fight. So... Small segue, I, prob- I promise this isn't going to take very long. I That's started fine. watching a documentary last night about two men who fight over the ownership of a human leg. <laughs> Is it theirs? One of them, it was his leg. It got cut off. Okay. And the other one, by a long s- sequence of events, bought the leg without the first man knowing. So one of them bought the leg. The other one, it is his leg. So they're like fighting I mean, really, over who if you legally lose owns leg, the leg. Is it yours anymore? That's the thing. You lost the leg. That whole thing is if you love your leg, you can let it go. And if it loves you <laughs> he back, didn't it'll, 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 it'll he, back, he to lost you. his leg in a plane crash. His dad died in that same plane crash. So oh, the leg, his leg was his dad. Oh, this oh, is just a story from Bio Commando. Damn it. No, this is actually Spoilers, a thing. It's who incredible. gets the leg? I don't know. I didn't finish it. But it's called uh, Find His Keepers. And they all have Ooh, that's just... That's a good name. I had a lot of trouble understanding the Southern Why accents. did anyone buy a leg? What are you going to do he with a leg? He, he bought it in like a storage unit. This is... See, I tried to make that sure that it's fascinating. That doesn't make the answer any clearer. So it, like a storage unit was sold and the guy who owned the leg kept it in there and it was like... Was he buying a storage unit thinking like, rent. man, this is great. I don't have well, so this, much storage. The guy was like, no, I'm going to... He, he was the kind of person who would resell junk. So like he... When the, the guy who owned the leg stopped paying for the storage unit, it lapsed. The whole thing was for sale, including everything inside it, which just so happened to include his leg. Time out. I lose my leg. What do I want it back for? I mean, because it makes you think of your dad. dad Apparently. Is why oh, you know what else does? Like. Maybe a photograph you took at some point in your life or no, a memory that, of that your dad. No, that simply won't do. There's no, none of my body parts make me think so of my parents. So he, like, embalmed it and then oh, put it in nice. a tree for six months and then put it in... Put it in a tree? <laughs> for six months. Who it's are a, these people? This documentary is incredible. Yeah. It Definitely sounds like it. It is. Uh, I guess we should get back to ostensibly yes, talking about should. video games. Yes. So the whole reason I bring up Build 13 minutes into this podcast is that uh, mouse and keyboard support is coming to Xbox this summer. Mm-hmm. I imagine this is going to cause all sorts of problems, uh, given that when the update comes, because it's coming out alongside the Windows 10 anniversary update, which like it's if you have Windows 10, it's free, adds a ton of new stuff including like a bunch of HoloLens support and new Xbox features. One of them is uh, mouse and keyboard support, so you can play certain Xbox games with mouse and keyboard. And you look to the future, and it's like, well, okay, great. This makes sense with stuff like Halo Wars 2, which is an RTS that they're building for the ground up for both PC and Xbox One. Hooray. But then I start wondering, like, can I just play Call of Duty on Xbox with a mouse keyboard and destroy everybody on a console who cannot keep up? definitely a problem. So... I thought the same, and I, I I asked Phil Spencer about this, and his response was basically like, "Yes, that's a problem. I shipped Shadowrun. Like, I know what these I know these problems very yeah. well." And uh, basically, Phil was pretty explicit about like, "I don't want people to be forced if they're using a gamepad to play against somebody with an objective advantage." Hmm. I mean, that's uh, that would entirely you know change the foundation of the Halo multiplayer competitive multiplayer landscape. If there's, and he's very clear about you're that. watching controller multiplayer matches or you're watching mouse and keyboard multiplayer yeah, matches. Yeah, and, and his hmm. sort of response to that was he's he played Rocket League on PS4 and you can see who you're up against if person's on PC, if they're on a uh, controller. And ultimately, like with Rocket League, that's not as big of a problem as it is with a first-person mm-hmm. shooter where body rotations are much quicker with a mouse and keyboard de facto. Like, that is not even arguable. So they want to create a system where, you know, developers would... Basically create, basically create filters or hoppers that sort of separate those audiences if they want to. Like, you could opt in and be like, I don't care who I play against. Let's just let me play. But if you don't want to play against mouse and keyboard players, like, you could opt out. Hmm. Like, they don't want to put you in a position of like, ah, too bad, sucker. Hmm. Which is good, because it sort of dispels the doom and gloom around like, wow, everything is ruined with mouse and keyboard gaming. But I also just wonder if, if this evolves. Like, the biggest issue that I had with Destiny when that first came out and I I should always mention that I haven't played The Taken King. I played it when it first came out. I haven't yeah. played it since it got better. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I 
always just wanted to be able to type to interact with people. It's like you would see people in the environments and never have any way of interacting with them. So what the hell is the point of it being an MMO? I could never talk totally. to anyone. Yeah, so that's I kind wonder of the amazing utility will, of a keyboard. Yeah, if they'll think about integrating that into games oh, like The like Division or Destiny. Yeah. Just so everything. you can chat. Or even cool. proximity chat. Like, cause proximity just voice, proximity chat is really all yeah, I would want. Yeah, because yeah. it's big in the, in the Division. Proximity voice yes. in Dark Zone is super huge. So if you could do that in text, like, like an MMO, right? Like anyone in the city can hear you. Anyone on the block can read your, yeah. That'd be cool. your text. That's like, I hope that that happens. It would just, I don't know if there would be enough people playing on mouse and keyboard. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys want to play Xbox games with mouse and keyboard? I mean, because of my wrist, no. So I have really crappy wrists. That's why you wear that, 400 wristbands? Yeah. yeah. That uh, got Power weak actually. from me my playing bad. The Witcher 3 too much on, thanks, Poland. on PC. And... Yeah, thanks, Poland. I think it was my fault. I don't know if it was the Polish. Polish oh, generally. but you're all, you're all Polish, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can blame Polish. That's fine. Uh, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> but that is what screwed up my hands. So, like, the last thing that I would want is to spend more time playing games with. Oh, you played Witcher on PC? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Probably looked a lot better. No, I was just... Oh, no, no, no. I was interested the reason in I actually of... did was for mods. No, I knew uh, okay. I knew she hurt her wrist playing Witcher. I just always assumed it was with a controller. Is that a real thing? Your wrist is ruined because of Witcher? Yeah. How, like, what's wrong? Uh, my tendons, which are, like, yeah, connected to my thumb, yeah. are, like, it's, like, if you had a rope and you rubbed it back and forwards over a rock. Oh, it's, like, It's, like, my out. tendon's just really frayed. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah, and it pops out all the time. Yeah, it's real good. It'll, like, pop to one side of the tendon, and I have to, like, pop it back to the Ooh. other side. <laughs> yeah, it's really <laughs> good. Gnarly. It started off with my left hand, and then Holy I shit. put a wrist brace on that, and then that one was fine, and because I was overcompensating with my right hand, it went to my right hand. I had some, like, weird carpal tunnel stuff for a while. Probably A, because of Dota, but B, also uh, biology. Mm. Uh, so Goldfarb bought me a carpal tunnel wristband that I didn't know how to use, and I ended up just hurting my wrist <laughs> by putting it on, because it's literally just a piece of plastic that like L shapes around your wrist, mm. and then it's a band. If it's too tight, like it cuts off circulation, but it's supposed to be tight so you don't bend your wrists. Uh, so you, take care of your hands, people. Yeah, take care I of your, this take care your body. This one, when I was using the, the wrist brace, I had so much muscle deterioration that afterwards I couldn't even like open a bottle. Like... It's Jesus. it's really not fun. So yeah, a mouse and keyboard screwed me up. But I think like I feel like I might be an anomaly. That's I don't I think that's uncommon. It's usually that controllers would hurt people more than a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Guns also hurt people more. Is that true? I have very strong hands. People hurt people. That's no people no. don't hurt people. It's the gun's fault. No, the gun. Oh. The gun. Does yeah. It. Yeah. The bullet. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, make I, America great again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I as somebody who plays a lot of games on PC, primarily on PC, Xbox podcast. Uh, <laughs> I like this a lot, but I also wonder what even with like something like Halo Wars, it's like it's designed for Xbox and PC, presumably from the ground up for both. Otherwise, why do it? Like, there's still an innate advantage to hotkeys, and your yeah. actions per minute are going to be <laughs> way faster. But I don't know. Maybe that's not the kind of game it is. I wonder how this will affect Smite. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, honestly. Yeah, like, the UI is so much more rapid and convenient and usable on PC. And they did a really good I mean, job on console. It's just exactly. everything. Yes. It's like, man, that'll change stuff. Like, you just can't, you cannot navigate that store or that environment or your attacks as efficiently as you can on PC. Yeah. Huh. I also wonder if it's up to every developer or if you can mm, assign buttons and keys, like... Maybe. W is up on my analog stick or whatever. But it's also that, like, the reason that I've always preferred console is for the comfort of playing console games. It's like sitting on a couch, laying on a bed, just a controller. It's very easy to do. And I wonder if, like, a lot of Xbox players feel the same way. That they, like, you have to modify your setup to have... To be a PC, basically. So what's the point? Why not just play on PC? So I wonder if like this will really take off that much. Probably not, but it's it's one of those things like I've wanted it and I'm glad it's happening, even if I use it once or twice. I definitely mm-hmm. hope that it we get like chat and MMOs with it. But that that's one thing. Yeah, that that'd I, be cool. I feel like Xbox is missing. Right yeah. now you can use a keyboard to just type messages and stuff, but you obviously can't use it for games. Yeah. So if you're worried about doom and gloom, PC gaming is gonna ruin your Xbox gaming. Have no fear. Life is good. Everything oh. is fine. Whoa. Oh, oh. That was a that was quite That's the emotional a roller coaster very of a sentence. Conflicting <laughs> series of, of messages. Also, we all end You're up welcome. dead in the end. That's true. Yeah, everyone well, dies a lot. That is true. Um, life is suffering. And these guys are still arguing about who owns the leg. So. 